Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Cherie. I decided to hop on the Marguerite Miller's um, collage channel bandwagon. Um, I've been seeing people doing it on YouTube and at first I was like, okay, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do this, but then obviously we're stuck at home and there's not too much to do other than our, you know, our normal daily activities, trying to stay positive and sane and all that good fun stuff. So, um, I was like, let me go ahead and do this challenge. I haven't done a challenge in, I don't even know how long. So I am going to give it a whirl. Um, this, the prompts for week one, which that's what this is week one, were something that represents time, uh, fabric or thread, something out of the recycling bin, an animal, and I think the bonus was a postage stamp. Now this journal is my new journal. I finished up my, um, my other journal. Um, I did do a flip through. I haven't posted it yet. Um, I will hopefully soon. Um, but I went with, oh, and an animal. That was the other prompt, the animal. So I went with this book page. It is from a book that I use quite often, the Child Craft 1950, I think, um, poem, something poem, stories and poems maybe. And, um, I loved it because it has a squirrel on it, which reminds me of my mom, um, we had squirrels going, growing up. Anytime somebody found a squirrel, they would give it to my mom and she would raise it. We even had a fox squirrel one time. And then the mountain, the face that's in the mountain, reminds me of um, New Hampshire. And my mother lived in New Hampshire growing up. And my uncle, he still lives there today. So it was perfect. I was like, I'm going to use this. It, it just makes me so happy. So on the left side... Um, I made a pocket, obviously, out of that um, children's book page. On the left side, I went with just some regular um, collaging. I had these pieces in my um, scrap stash. The There's just a ledger, a scrap of ledger, um, old ledger paper. And then that blue one is a Maggie Holmes paper, but it's from the wrapping paper pack that she has. I got it at Tuesday morning. And I've... I've used it quite frequently and I really like it a lot. I like the way that the paper feels. So, um, let's see. I went with a linen. That linen, I believe, is from Little Bindi, but I don't think it's in her regular linen packs. I think it's in a Zine pack. Um, and I'm not sure which one. September's coming to mind, but it could be totally off. So, here's my, um,. I pulled out that yellow fabric. I went with the yellow because I like the yellow and the flower on that um, that linen piece. And yellow is my favorite color, so why not? And um, so home is where <clears throat> you are. Excuse me. Um, I like that saying because my um, item or thing that I'm going to use to represent time are these two photos. Now the photo on the left is an earlier photo of my husband and my youngest daughter and the one on the right is a more current photo of my husband and my daughter. So I figured, you know, this obviously shows that time has passed. So that's what I will use to represent time. And um, <clears throat> I was not, I was debating upon whether or not to cover up the poem originally, but then I was like, oh, I just can't do it. I can't cover up the poem. I like it. So I just finagled my little tape in the inside of that pocket, which was a little difficult, but I got it. I got it working. And I went with like the um, bluish green tape on the outside and a pretty little floral yellow tape on the inside to go with the blue and the yellow theme that I kind of have going on here. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Oh, I wrote the um, the year on the back of that photo because at this point in time, I was not 100% sure what I was going to do on the back sides. I wasn't, I, I didn't know if I was going to do anything or if I was going to end up doing something. So, so I just wrote it on there. And plus it was kind of bugging me because it just said the date, you know, and I was like, okay, um, you know, it was just like an itch that I had to scratch. Um, this is a vintage playing card. I am going to use this little floral playing card um, as my item that 
represents something that blows in the wind. It is like <clears throat> super early here and I've only had one cup of coffee so my brain is still working on um, you know firing up and all that good fun stuff. But I figured I better do this voiceover before all my kids wake up because then it's just like a no-go. Um, that is the item that I am using that represent or that something out of the recycling bin. And then I was thinking I could put that little card that had all the prompts on it in that um, little tuck spot there that I made out of the, the uh, floral card. But it doesn't end up staying there. I don't know. I just, I wasn't feeling it. <clears throat> so I wanted to put down a little label so that I could write the year that the photos were taking were taken see I'm telling y'all they're I'm um, just it's yeah it's just not fully awake just yet so bear with me um <clears throat> so yeah so I like the idea that you have a picture that was from the past and one that's more current and I just liked it a lot and I wanted to put something in that little um candy wrapper that I was using to represent uh, or take something out of the recycling bin because my daughter and my husband, they both love sweets and they like the same kind. Like I love chocolate and caramel and, you know, things with nuts. And they like like the sour stuff and gummy bears and gummy worms and all, you know, those kind of things. Which I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of. So I picked out my little tag and um, I found me a piece of ribbon. Oh, I had to trim it down because it was actually just a paper tag that, you know, comes on um, a 12 by 12 sheet and it had a whole bunch of tags on it. And there was like one little sliver of the tag that was right beside it. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and trim that down. So there's my pink little ribbon that I went with. And um, I was trying to kind of keep it, you know, girly, all that good fun stuff. Um, and then I was like, I want to write, you know, a little something on here that talks about how they share a love of sweets together. And I knew that I had some candy stickers in my stash that just were like little lollipops or, um, like candy that was in wrappers. It's really, really cute and it's really small. And I looked and looked and looked and I could not find it anywhere. I was kind of bumming about that, but I did find a jelly bean. So I stuck that on there and I went with blue because blue is my daughter's favorite color. And then I also put a piece of washi and a little word sticker on there, which I was totally out of camera and didn't realize that I was. So yeah, sorry you guys. I, I, I need to tighten up. Need to tighten up on that. So um, I also have these, oh goodness, the company just left my head. It was on the tip of my tongue. Oh, I can't remember. It, it just left my brain. Um, I used a couple of word stickers above the labels. One says sweet and one says happy. And then I'm just kind of elaborating a little bit on that linen about their relationship. And just how it makes me feel. How I love to watch them together. And they're so cute. And it brings me joy. And it's beautiful. And you know, you know how it goes with your family. And then I had that, that little hourglass sticker it was on a sticker sheet, an old one that only had a couple of stickers left on it. So I've left it out on my desk because I'm like, I'm going to get these stickers used up. Um, and then this is one of my linens from a, from a kit. And I obviously decided to decorate the backside. Nothing too fancy, just a couple of linens on these photos and another quote sticker. I love quote stickers. Um... Because sometimes when you just don't have the right words, you just got to go for a quote sticker, you know? Just makes life easy. And then I, um, my binder, my linen binder, I have a big binder that I keep all my linens in. And the last time I crafted at my sister-in-law's house, I left it there. Like, <gasps> oh my goodness. So I've just been kind of printing some as I go and sticking them in this little um, pocket thing. You know, you got to work with what you got. And with this whole social distancing thing, I haven't seen my brother or my sister in forever, sister-in-law, so I haven't been able to get my binder either. But that's okay. I can just print some more. So I went with another uh, word sticker there that says lovable. And then um, I have this pack of old, like, baby girl stickers. 
and I wanted to um, elaborate a little bit more on their relationship so I just grabbed a piece of journaling um, journaling a piece of what what word am I looking for it's the brain thing again y'all ledger ledger paper to journal on so um, yeah so I just do a little bit more journaling about the relationship stick another word sticker down there and I think that that's it and you see my little label on the right side kind of falls off I had to fix that too and yeah so here I'm showing you my representing time something that blows in the wind a piece of fabric an animal and something out of the recycling bin and the bonus was a postage stamp but I did not use the bonus so I hope y'all enjoyed this y'all have a blessed day thanks for watching